So today I would like to show you another escape from the mount position. Now generally I like to use basic tried and tested high percentage escapes from bad positions like the mount. What, what are some examples of those kind of escapes that you use? From the mount, my, my highest percentage escapes are the two first moves I ever learned. The umpa or the bridge and also the knee escape also known as the elbow to knee escape. Those are my two favorite escapes to, to, to work when I'm in mounted position. So when those escapes fail or the person knows the counters to those escapes or you're unable to get out with those, is that when you go to a move like this? Uh, you know what? I try to use those as much as possible, but sometimes I feel like I don't have a choice. My opponent, such as yourself, knows the counters and shuts me down on those, on those fronts, and so I have to do something a little bit more unorthodox sometimes to create an opportunity to get one of those escapes or to get out entirely. And so today we're going to work on one I like to call the, the heel twist escape from the mount. So I guess it's good to have some extra options like that because it's got to be pretty scary being down there and not being able to get out from a position like that. Not for someone like me. <laughs> so again, um, my first objective is to stop from getting punched in the face. If I'm getting punched in the face, it's going to be very difficult to concentrate on the, the details that I'm going to need to get this technique right. So from here, if this guy happens to be throwing a strike of any sort, what I want to do is use my hips to misdirect a strike and make time for me to get to this position here. I want to get close to his body so he really doesn't have a lot of space to create damage on me. Again, he's here. I want to bridge and get him tight here. If, if, it, if at all possible, I want to get here before he has a chance to punch, but sometimes I'm not that lucky. Now once I'm here, what I want to do is cover his leg, trap his leg just like I would for a bridge or an umpa. But this time, instead of uh, bridging over my hips this way, what I'm going to do is push inward on his pinky toe with this foot here and push over my own leg with my other foot on his heel. This creates a lot of pressure on his ankle. And you'll either get the tap or more frequently what will happen is he'll roll to his side to relieve the pressure, which will either give you an escape uh, a complete escape will create a, uh, an opening for you to use one of the more traditional escapes. Okay, so here it is again. I've got to protect myself first, and I do that by hipping up and misdirecting his punch. I hide my head, trap his foot. I'm going to push in on his pinky toes and push over my own foot with my uh, bar leg here. Boom. I'll either hit the tap or I'll get him to roll, in which case. I escape the mount position entirely. So again, sometimes right off the get-go, you know you're in a bad spot, so you hide your head before he even gets a chance to punch. Now from here, you want to trap his foot, press inward on his toes, and kick over the top with your far leg here. You'll either get a tap, or sometimes you get lucky and escape that mount position entirely. There are times, however, where this guy might give you a, vari a variant, a different type of response. So sometimes what will happen is as you start messing around with his ankle here, he starts kicking out and doing different stuff, which will create an opportunity for you to go to a more traditional escape like the knee escape. The thing about it is, is that worst case, you're here already in a bad situation. You've tried your other escapes, you really have nothing to lose. So if it's not the most high percentage escape, you know, you, again, you can always go back to your knee escape and your umpa, and maybe some other type of escape that you're really you know, confident at. Uh, but this is something that I like to use when I feel like those options aren't working so well. And again, this is what we call the heel twist escape from the mount.